Hey YouTube, <clears throat> this is Brandon, the Prepared Grunt, and I'm here to show you a little bit of what I've been working on. You see this shed behind me? We had a, I had a company come in and build the shed themselves on site. Uh, it was fairly easy to do. They did a decent job, took them about three days. Wasn't bad. Um, they actually brought it in in pieces. They had uh, parts of it, walls and stuff already built, pre-built, and then they built it up from there. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of it. We have a six foot by 12 foot front porch. So it's 12 foot long, six foot deep. And it's gonna be a nice little spot for my wife and I to sit in the mornings and enjoy a cup of coffee or um, sit in the evenings and just enjoy the nature around us. And if you look above me, um, directly above me, there's a bright, there's a white light. That's actually a really bright spotlight. It's 3000 lumen. I have four of them all the way around the building. And um, so that if there's animals or something that I hear outside, I can flip those lights on and I'll be able to see everything around me in the middle of the night. And they really do light up the night. So let me take you on a tour real quick. So the first thing I want to show, give you a little better view of it, is I have my gardens. When I made the soil video, this is just a little flower garden that I've been doing. Uh, when I made the soil video uh, about a week ago, um, this was what I was preparing that soil for. So I have this garden goes all the way around over here, ends in a rose bush. And then on the other side over here, I have another flower garden to end cap the opposite side of my front porch that ends in a rose bush. That rose bush looks a little dead, I promise it's not. Um, it still hasn't bloomed its new flowers yet. And so now let me take you inside. Now I apologize for the mess, everything's still under construction, but come on in. So what we've been working on is we've been insulating and drywalling, running all the electrical, everything like that. So we've got fully functioning electrical. It is attached to the grid at the moment. Um, we are running through the local power company, but we have all working outlets already. And there's a blue box right up here that you see. This blue box that you see right there is gonna be the, for the bathroom and the kitchen sink. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a four bar light and split it down the middle with just a little piece of drywall. Something that'll be easy to take out if we ever have to replace the bar, but um, it's gonna split and it's gonna light both the bathroom and the kitchen area so that we can wash our hands or anything like that. Or if I wanna get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom, I come out of the bathroom to wash my hands because I'm not gonna have a sink in the bathroom because it's too small of an area. Um, I can come out, wash my hands in the sink without turning on the main light and waking my wife up. Uh, you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. And if she gets better sleep, then she's happier. <laughs> so over in this little area is gonna be our bathroom and shower. It's gonna come to right about here and right about here is gonna be the walls. And so we'll have a little toilet in there. We're gonna have a shower over here, be able to clean ourselves up. And we'll have a counter with kitchen sink right here so that we can, if we need to wash any dishes or whatever, we can look out a window while we're doing it. And the counter will come off to over here a little bit. I do wanna put a pot belly stove just because I like the heat. So the pot belly stove is gonna go right about here. Um, and then my drinking source of water makes coffee and everything like that. It's my Primo right there. I love that thing. And so this is basically it. It's 12 by 14 inside on the floor, uh, 12 by 20 
if you go by the top measurements. It's, so it's not a huge space, but it's more than enough for my wife and I. And as of right now, our kids stay at Nana and Papa's because this is built on my parents' property. So our kids stay up at Nana and Papa's, which they love getting to spend time with the grandparents. And we're eventually gonna build sheds for them as well um, to help, you know, to provide them their own space and everything like that and have our own little shed compound, if you will. You see up above me over here is, this is our sleeping area, our sleeping loft. Um, right now we only have an air mattress up there, but we will be getting an actual mattress up there eventually. And we'll have a fan coming down in the middle right here that's gonna be, um, help circulate a lot of the air. Everything, all the lights and everything in this place are LED. So that 3000 lumen light that you saw outside, like I said, we have four of them, they're all LED. So they don't actually use a whole lot of power. The fan itself is gonna be an LED, have an LED light on it as well. The lights for the bar light for the, um, for the bathroom and sink is gonna have LED bulbs in it. And then the one thing living in Oklahoma that's a must have is our AC unit. So you see that AC unit up there, that's a 12,000 12, BTU air conditioner. And um, basically that thing gets it nice and cold in here during the day, keeps it nice and warm in the evenings or at night. Um, it's not a huge AC unit, but it's actually a little bit more than what we need for this space. And it does a really good job. So that's why we want to put in the fan to help circulate some of that air around and get it more equalized on the cooling. Um, as far as like windows and things like that, they're not the most, they're not the best windows on the market. They came with the shed, but they work just fine for me. Um, they work just fine for my wife. And so that's really the gist of what we've been doing. Oh, I did find out one thing that I didn't know before. You know, when we were doing this drywall, uh, me and one of my buddies was working on the drywall. And the next day I was down. I was done. I was sick as a dog. And couldn't figure out why well it's because I'm allergic to drywall dust um, so I actually haven't been working on any of the drywall since then I've been making a buddy of mine and another friend of ours um, actually work on the drywall because yeah I'm allergic to it and so that's kind of one of those things that you learn as you go um, this is gonna kind of you know this is kind of our little bug out retreat so Having this experience when it's not horrible is a good thing to learn because that tells me right there, any future structures that I wanna build, I'm not gonna be able to do the drywall. I'm gonna to have to bring somebody in to do it. Um, so having somebody that can do the drywall, that knows how to do drywall in your group is probably a good idea. And so yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, you know, leave a comment below, hit that like button as always. And as always, uh, stay safe and uplift everyone. Have a great day.